session, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your dashboards and reports for success. So stay tuned and we're going to step through the process I use with my own clients. So what I want you to do first is crack open a copy of Microsoft Whiteboard. So it's a free tool. You'll just download it. And this is what I use day in and day out. So I'm going to show you once you have that installed, this is what it looks like. This is basically what you end up seeing. So let's open that up, create new whiteboard. And you're going to see it's blank and you're going to get, you know, various things popping up here. Right out of the gate, we're just going to go down here and we're going to add a template. And scroll all the way down and you're going to see we're looking for the personas. So we're looking for the persona design template. So keep going down, right down the bottom. We got persona builder. Okay, so we're just going to make a few edits to this. And I'm going to tell you the setup um, in a second, but let's get things set up for ourselves here. So you know, you got a new dashboard, or you've been asked to do a new dashboard, and you want to just do things right. So we're going to change the first one to background. The next one we're going to leave as goals. <clears throat> the third one, we're going to change to challenges. And the final one, we're going to call questions. These are basically the business questions that we want to be able to answer. So now look at this. This is basically we're taking an approach with who are we designing for? And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to understand who we're designing for. And that's the why we're using the, the persona template. So let's give this dashboard a name. Okay. So let's say this is HR dashboard. Now, on another video, we, we talked about the steps after this stage here, which is how do you take a bunch of business questions and figure out what visualizations you need to connect them to? In this video, we're going to do the step before that. So this is really like the, the inception of understanding who we're designing for. So in that example I gave in the other video, we talked about HR, HR dashboard for the chief HR officer on the Death Star. So we're going to jump back into that and some background there, right? So we're understanding who we're designing for. So let's say it's the chief HR officer of the Death Star. And, you know, you can put in as much detail as you want. Uh, when I'm in a pinch, I, I usually don't take, you know, a whole lot of time. And um, some of the things I like to, you know, just understand how long they've been in the role. In role for... Uh, 25 years, pretty long tenure, and let's say it's it's later on, it's a maybe a Death Star version 2, and okay, that's great, look, we'd love more, but often we don't have the time to do more, so let's just jump into what goals they have, and um, you know, some, some great goals are, you know, reduce attrition by 2%, great goal to have, um, percent let's drop in another one uh, also let's reduce the average cost of attrition reduce average cost of attrition let's say annual cost I think that's probably going to be a little bit more easy to measure annual cost of attrition by 50 million dollars cool some some nice goals to have now, obviously, you would be doing this in collaboration with the chief HR officer. It's not something that's done in isolation. Okay, so let's jump into the next one here. Challenges. So some of the challenges might be faced, uh, you know, very unclean data. That's always a given. Almost always multiple sources of truth. Okay. And... Let's also say um, no clear 
path to action. So they don't really know what to do. Okay, so some questions. Some questions related to those goals that we have. Let's let's pull out a few here. So let's say, well, look, I wanna, what are the drivers? What are the drivers for attrition? Really important to know. What is the current cost of attrition? Obviously important to know. And let's go with um, what has been the past trends for attrition? Okay, so you can see how this is like a just a super light way to start setting up requirements. And you would take this and basically just go into your next step, which is the action mapping stage. That's taking all these questions, which should be aligned to goals, and start plugging them into your you know, dashboard. So you wanna figure out what visuals you wanna have in the dashboard. That's what you're gonna do next uh, from this step. So great, thank you for your time. Um, Happy to answer any questions and um, you shoot me anything you want you want and I'll do what I can. Uh, please like, subscribe when you get a chance and uh, let me know if anything else you'd like me to cover. Thank you.